Coach Pat Summit, who built the Tennessee women's basketball program into a powerhouse, has died. Summit became the winningest coach in the history of major college basketball. She died five years after she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. She was 64 years old. A one-of-a-kind facility right here in Tuscaloosa serves adults with Alzheimer's and other memory disorders. WVOA 23's Chelsea Barton visited the Mal and Charlotte Moore Caring Day Center today and joins us now live with that story. Lynn, an estimated 5.1 million Americans suffer from Alzheimer's. It's a disease that is progressive and it's degenerative. The disorder attacks the brain's nerve cells, causing a loss in memory, thinking, and language skills. Although diagnosis to death is on average about six years, those at Caring Days know patients live longer and have a greater quality of life when they keep their minds and bodies stimulated. We're an activity-based program. We just have fun all day long. We have music, games, um, they have different group activities, exercise. They just have a good time every day. Caring Days also connects people with similar disorders, creating purposeful friendships. Depression frequently goes with, with any form of dementia. Um, to begin with, people know they don't remember everything they should, and they don't feel comfortable going out places. So when they start here, um, they have friends that they can relate with. They also have no demands on them to, to remember things. Dorothy Thomas was first introduced to the program as an option for her mother, Polly, who suffered from memory loss. When you take your child to daycare, you take them and you leave them because you know they're going to be looked after and cared for for that amount of time. Same concept with caring days. It was good to see how she was able to get up every morning to go somewhere, and that was good for her. It kept her mobile instead of just sitting around doing nothing all day. And it gave her the opportunity when she was not able to do something, the staff would do it for her, they would help her with it. So she still wouldn't, didn't have to feel left out. Today, Thomas works at Caring Days, giving back to the place she calls a godsend. It's, it's a needed program for one thing. And when you have the opportunity to take your loved one somewhere where they're gonna be cared for and looked after and loved, we got some of the most loving people that work here you ever meet. So it's, it's hard to even put into words. It's fantastic. Caring Days is currently taking more clients. If you have a family member suffering from a memory loss disorder and would like to learn more about the day program there, give Vicki a call at 205-752-6850 or send an email to caringdays.org. Live tonight, I'm Chelsea Barton, WVUA 23 News.